Hi, welcome. There are over a hundred possible symptoms that can manifest in perimenopause and postmenopause that vary in degree from mildly annoying to terrifying and painful. Somewhere in the middle are the symptoms that are bizarre and unsettling and often cause a great deal of concern. I'm going to list 10. I'll start with the odd and disturbing symptom most often shared with me. Body-wide tingling, numbness, pins and needles, and burning. It's called paresthesia and it can cause some pretty upsetting sensations, pretty much anywhere and for no apparent reason. The most common manifestations that I hear about are numbness and tingling in the hands, feet and face, and burning feet. There are several conditions that can cause paresthesia that often become a focus of concern for menopausal women, and it's understandable, but most of the time hormones are to blame in midlife. The second unsettling symptom is unexplained and unprovoked fear and dread. It's a lingering heavy feeling that creeps in for no reason and causes a very intense sensation, like a ball of trapped energy in the center of your chest. It's very hard to explain, but those of you who deal with this type of anxiety know exactly what I'm talking about. It makes you feel terrified and on high alert, but you have no idea why, because you're just watching TV or scrolling on your phone. In perimenopause, I sometimes felt it so intensely that it would throw me into a panic attack. I still feel it here and there in a milder form, but I'm usually able to burn it off now by busying myself with something else. Number three is bizarre but scary, even though it only lasts for seconds. It's random stabbing pain. It's an intense sharp sensation that can happen anywhere and only lasts for a couple of seconds, but it can stop you cold and cause lingering anxiety because it's very jarring and concerning. For some reason, it's often felt under the left breast, which of course can cause some serious anxiety. I also sometimes feel it in my arms, legs, and side. Next is disequilibrium and lightheadedness. I often feel off balance and I'm telling you, I must look intoxicated at times because I'll actually tip sideways. My kids tell me to stand straight like I'm doing it on purpose. I also bang into a lot of door frames. It's a very unnerving experience, but common in menopause, even without dizziness. Although lightheadedness can also occur where you're hit with bursts of dizziness or wooziness. That's always upsetting, even if it's brief and especially if you're out and about. There are many reasons for dizziness, so finding an exact cause in midlife can be challenging and frustrating. Number five is called air hunger. It's very bizarre, but can be scary and unsettling. It's the feeling of not being able to breathe in enough air. It's like your chest is too small and no matter how deeply you breathe in, it's not enough. For obvious reasons, this can and does cause anxiety and panic. I actually bought an oximeter years ago so when the sensations came on, I could measure my oxygen saturation. It brings me comfort to see 99% because it assures me that I'm getting enough oxygen. Luckily, the air hunger has improved for me in postmenopause but I still feel it from time to time. The next symptom is creepy and startling. It's called formication and it's the sensation of crawling on your skin. I can't tell you the amount of times I thought I had bugs on me when nothing was there. In perimenopause, I had my son help me look for lice and bed bugs several times. I don't panic so much now because I know it's menopause, but I still look every single time because the one time I don't check, there will be a bug on me. Phantom senses are next. These can seriously leave you questioning your sanity. Seeing, hearing, smelling, and tasting things that no one else does. Seeing things beside you, smelling smoke or garbage, food tasting off, or hearing things that aren't there are all common. I've gone looking for ghosts, intruders, fire, and my kids numerous times. Number eight is a burning mouth and trouble swallowing. I always found it odd that older women fussed over their pills and cut their food up so small. Now I understand. I hate swallowing pills and I will always get a chewable if it's available because swallowing does seem to be harder now. Sometimes it almost feels like my brain forgets how to swallow if that makes any sense at all and my throat is always phlegmy. Burning mouth syndrome also commonly affects menopausal women. It literally causes a burning tongue, mouth, lips, and or throat. It's often related to a decrease in saliva production when estrogen drops and it's very uncomfortable. I call number nine brain legs. They're really weird and unsettling. 
It's almost like spacing out or your brain taking a break to reload. When it happens to me, I'm aware of everything around me, but I have zero motivation to interact because I'm in a bit of a fog. Those are often the times when my kids call me and I respond with a "Mm mm-hmm or a blank stare. It's brain fog amplified. Number 10 is an extension of number nine, short-term memory loss. This one concerns many women and for good reason. The degree of forgetfulness can be extreme and inexplicable misplacing things constantly, forgetting what you're saying or doing or what things are called, it's ridiculous. I have to make note of things when I think about them or I will forget even 10 minutes later. It concerns and frustrates me at the same time. If there are other symptoms that you think are unsettling or bizarre, share them in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you. I wish health, happiness and peace of body and mind for each of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.